Hi, class six. Children, I am Ashish sir, and I have come to let you know a little bit regarding science. I hope you are all right at your home and spending your time very nicely. And I think you have seen several videos released from the school and in the, the other subjects. Here in class six, the first video of science is that for the chapter one, which deals with food and where does it come from? Where does it come from? And this will be lecture one for this. And first we will study about this and we will discuss regarding the introduction. Now children, every organism living on the surface of the earth requires food. Whether it is a very very tiny object to the huge elephant or the blue whale. Everyone requires food because food is the first basic need for the living organisms. Now what food is? Food is the chemical energy converted from the solar energy kept in potential form. There are two kinds of energy forms are there kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy that means the energy in motion and potential energy that means the energy at rest so here the energy is there but that is at rest and you know on the surface of the earth or even in the solar system all the energy that comes comes from the sun and we get the sun's energy in the form of chemical energy and that is the charisma and means the credit goes to the green plants <coughs> you know the green plants make food for themselves they never food make food for you and me they make food for only themselves but what is happening you know they are making the food in a huge amount bulk that the plants cannot use plants use it for the new generation to rear up to come while the rest of it is taken by the animals and we are also one of the animals we are social animals little bit of discipline than the others i must not say discipline but we are social animals now what happens is now the green plants they have the green pigment in their leaves and sometimes in the stems and by which they can catch the sunlight and convert and through the roots they can take the minerals along with the water which is known as sap and finally they convert it into glucose in presence of carbon dioxide and broken water how water is breaking with the hammer no the water is broken by the help of the sun's heat and it is a chemical process it is known as photolysis that is breaking of water by means of the light and the particles of light which are known as the photons and these photons are energy particles they break the light and then the water is broken by the light itself to hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion and these things along with the carbon dioxide taken from the atmosphere by the stomata they produce the sugar or a kind of starch and that is from where we get the food directly to that comes to us or indirectly we can get it from the animals and birds and whatever it is so this food is nothing but you have come to know solar energy converted to chemical energy and kept in a potential form at rest well now food items there are several food items are there you see idli dosa you see the rice chapati you see various vegetables are there you see lovely mangoes just waiting for to munch 
and you see some other nice ingredients of food all this that has come from the plants how you can say how idli has come from the plants yes dear children the idli has come from the plant in indirect way how in indirect way you see the plants produce the ingredient of idli and which has been processed by human beings like mummies daddies or somebody else to make the idli that is an indirect process and in the indirect process it is changed into idli like the dosa is also there dosa is also there that the ingredients we get from the plant and then it is processed by the human beings and we get the food items there are several items are there we get sweet items lovely sweet items chinese items we get some continental items all we get all we get the main resource is nothing but the plants but the plants now you see ingredients after the sources of food obviously the sources of food is plants and animals all the sources are coming most of them are coming from plants the rice the cereals the pulses even not only the food the medicine that comes from the plants also we get the ingredients of making the clothes and all from the plant also now the plants are eaten up by the herbivores or by the other animals which indirectly comes to us as the animal products like you get milk milk is a product of the animal but the animal feeds on the plant and as it feed on the plant it produces milk and then that milk is converted to different milk products simple milk then various sweets made by milk the curd the cheese the butter and etc sometimes some sweet dishes also made at a home by the milk like what we say kheer or sometimes we say the payasam all those that comes from milk and so not only milk the eggs are coming also from the animals but the egg lying animals they feed on the plants suppose grains and various kinds of plants they eat to produce the eggs well and so we get the plants and we use them as food now a plant has the part underground part which is known as root so we eat the roots you know carrot and radish are the root part which we eat we have the stem sugarcane we get the stem and we eat it and leaves various vegetables have leaves and those leaves we cook and eat and the flowers some flowers of some plants we eat as a food on the other hand the fruits fruits we get from various plants mango jamun jackfruit banana and also some seeds like the cashew uh, then the peanuts and different kinds of pulses that we get from it and the seeds like the pea seeds that we eat we eat the gram seeds we eat various kinds of pulses that are also seeds and that is how we do and we have sometimes done uh, sometimes we do the sprouting of the seeds how do sprouting is done now the seeds some seeds like gram or moong the pulses moong or moong ki dal is taken and just washed it in the water and then let the water drain off and keep it fasted in a piece of cloth and after one day or one and a half day when you take them and just open them you will see the little bit of white pig 
that has come out from either from the moon or from the grams this is called sprouting now why do you do sprouting you know the sprouting is more nutritious than that of the plain seeds by nutritious value it is much more than that of the plain seed so sprouting is very good for the health and to give them well animals also produce product as food milk eggs we get bird meat as chicken or sometimes the duck meat also is have we have the mutton in various animals like specially the he goat and some other animals also so these are the animal products so plant products that i have already explained and animal products that i have already explained to you well children now we are to go for the food producers and consumers you know the producers are the green plants that has already been discussed the green plants they have the chlorophyll and they can collect the ingredients like carbon dioxide from the air they can collect the mineral salts along with the water through the roots and finally they can produce the carbohydrates that is glucose and then that is the production of the food what is the by product the by product is the oxygen which is very very important for the surface of the earth because this oxygen keeps the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere in the atmosphere you might be knowing we take the inhalation of all the atmospheric air where we get oxygen as 20 percent when we exhale the air then we leave the air after oxygen is being burned now you know how much mathematical is it that the respiration in respiration oxygen used is 4.5 percent and on the other hand the carbon dioxide increase is also 4.5 percent so children is it not mathematical it's very very mathematical and you must know the human body is the most sophisticated machine and nature is the greatest scientist of all now we come back to the green plants of the producers and the other all organisms are consumers the first the consumers the consumers are actually categorized in primary consumers those who directly feed on the harm that means the plants and these primary consumers are cow goat and all herbivorous animals you can say giraffe zebra elephant all this will come there is no question about it so that is the primary consumer and then the secondary consumer <laughs> the secondary consumer they are the carnivores there are several kinds of carnivores are there small carnivore feeds on the primary consumers and then this these are secondary consumers and secondary consumers are there and they are being killed by the tertiary consumers the tertiary consumers feed on primary as well as secondary consumers that means a small predator kills us herbivores and the big predator kills it so this is almost like a chain so we have come to know about the primary consumer the herbivores the secondary consumers those who feed on the primary consumers and we have the tertiary consumers which feed on both primary and secondary consumers now after all we have another types of organism those who are known as the decomposers and the decomposers are the microbes very tiny organisms and whenever there is dead and decayed objects fall on the surface of the earth they the microbes recycle them into the nature so this is how this all are going on now coming to this we can say that 
we are absolutely dependent on plants now what if we are dependent on plants is the are the plants dependent on us yes they do because during the respiration we leave carbon dioxide we leave carbon dioxide during the respiration and this carbon dioxide is very much essential for the plants because you have come to know that one of the raw materials for the food preparation is carbon dioxide and that has been taken by the green plants through their stomata the opening of the stomata and this stomatal opening definitely has two guard cells what do you mean by guard those who keep the things all right and quiet and so the guard cells they close and open so when there is required the guard cells open and allow the carbon dioxide to get in because that is the ingredient of the food like this the guard cells also release the water if excess water is there they'll release it in, into the atmosphere so like that they function and it is in the stomata singular and uh, i mean the singular is stoma so that is how it is happening happening and this carbon dioxide is then processed along with the water broken into hydrogen and hydroxyl ion and the minerals along with the water causes the sap this sap is being taken to the leaves of the water leaf is known as the kitchen or else you can say the laboratory of the plant and it can prepare the food as the laboratory or the kitchen makes for you so this is how food is prepared now the consumers as the food is prepared and i told you earlier also the plants never make the food for yourself or for the animals they make the food only for themselves but what happens you know they make it in such a bulk way they only use a little bit of that for their own purpose and the rest of it is taken by the animals like us we the herbivore carnivore tertiary carnivore etc now all above there is another one is there which is known as omnivore now children omnivore is a type of animal which feeds on both plants and animals no 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 it's not like that the actual meaning of omnivore is the one which eats everything is there any animals which eat everything thus i mean the scales of the fish or the shells of the egg and all those you will say sir have you had your brains gone you are telling all those yes my son it is there the omnivore is there and there are two true omnivores are there on the surface of the earth only two types of animals those who can eat everything even iron rust also who are they you know what is a very small creature but it is existing like from the jurassic age or before the jurassic age it had come they are known as the cockroaches cockroaches are the most adaptive animals of all are they living right from the beginning and still is going on very strong and the other adaptive animal is we the human beings so there are two kinds of two animals are there who are omnivores are cockroach and the human beings so human beings can eat everything you can say no sir i never eat iron rust yes you do you eat them in the form of medicine iron capsules and all and what and for the cockroaches they also lick the rust and all those and so everything they eat you go to go to the rotten i mean meat and all those there also you find the cockroach you go for a fresh nice food there is also you will find a cockroach so cockroach and human beings are the omnivores so children we have come to know regarding the food how does it come from and how is it come consumed by the
consumers like primary consumers, the herbivores, the secondary consumers, the small carnivores, the tertiary consumers who eat both the secondary consumers and the tertiary consumers and the omnivore who eats everything. So this is how it is there. And what is food? Food is a chemical energy stored in the form uh, is food is the solar energy stored as chemical energy and in the potential form and the food is the most important ingredient of life and that is all for today i hope you have understood the chapter i hope you are going to study this also and you will see all the question answers even true false and your match the column and everything is there when you just go to www.bsnes.in there you find all the answers and if there is any more problem then you can call us to clarify that or to know about more you can call us you are free to enjoy your time study well prepare yourself well see the various videos and all regarding the plant food and all those consumers and all and thank you and have a good day